Look, all good. First day in pads. Um, I'm excited to get up there and watch the tape and, and you know really get a good evaluation on on how it went. But uh, I, the one thing I can tell you is that our guys are continue to come out here and work every day. And so, um, you know, some things we got to clean up, but but uh, overall still pretty pleased. The naked eye. How would you say they handled the conditions and everything else with the pads? Uh, yeah, I thought um, I thought okay. You know. Um, Man, it's 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 hot. And you put the pads on, and, and uh, man, it's difficult. So I thought there was maybe a little bit of a lull somewhere in there, kind of in the middle of practice. But I think overall they pushed through and, and did a pretty nice job. Things got a little you know, intense between Peyton Turner and Turner Payne today. Is that kind of normal this time of year for camp? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I you know obviously um, you know everybody's you know trying to compete at a, at a high level, and and uh, uh, they're trying to make a good impression on the. On the coaching staff, and um, so that's kind of part of it. Um, but you know, obviously, the most important thing is that we get our we get our reps and we get our plays, and uh, and that we're working to get better and all the kind of post snap stuff. Uh, we're going to try to limit that as much as we possibly can. Yes, Alvin is obviously out of here today. Do you have any kind of update on where he's I don't. Stands? I don't have any update at all. Coach, uh, Justin Evan being out of football for a few years, coming back, your evaluation of Justin so far? Well, I think, I think you know, there's, there's, there's been some days where I feel like he's made some plays that, that have kind of stood out to me. Um, so uh, that's good to see. Um, you know, he, he was a, a second-round draft choice, uh, and, and we had some pretty good grades on him coming out in the draft. And so... Uh, we felt like that was a, a, a good, you know, kind of chance to take on a guy. And, and uh, so far, I think he's done a really good job in camp. So I'm excited about what he's doing. Dennis, it, along those lines, what about uh, DeMarcus Fields? I'm looking at the rookie from Texas Tech. Like, you know, one-on-one he got a pick in the team. It seemed like – Yeah, look, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, this is, this is one of those years where I feel like player one through 90 – like it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty deep group, and so um, there's a lot of guys like that, young guys that um, you know I, I feel like are, are are guys that we're excited about about working with, and so um, yeah, I think he's he's done a pretty good job, and, and, and as with a lot of these young guys. What have you seen in Alante Taylor since the start? Of the Look, a lot of the same things that I saw, um, you know, throughout the the, the spring. Um, I mean, he competes at, a, at an extremely high level. He's physical on the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, he made a hell of a play down the field, you know, on a, on a, on a deep route. Uh, so, like, I, he, he's got the right mental makeup. Um, and, uh, and, and it's really just about, you know, getting comfortable in the system. But I think, you know, up to this point, it's been pretty good. When guys like him are, like, he was a high school quarterback type of player, can, can you see that? Actually, like impact a guy's game when they're playing on the other side of the ball, and they were just seeing the field and understanding how all that works. Yeah, I, I think. Um, look, the quarterback position is is probably the the most unique position you know on the field, just in terms of an intelligence level that it takes to play that position. So, um, I think being able to, you know, see the game from that perspective, I think probably helps him uh, to some extent. But, um, you know, there's a lot of it that's that's uh, you know. Ability based, and uh, and really at the end of the day, it's 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 his work ethic that kind of lead, lets him be where he's at. Coach Penn is always uh, going after with some guys, like the echo of the whistle. Had that discussion about him about hey, you no, not 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 to this point because I don't think anything's gotten to a point where, um, you know, there there needs to be a huge discussion. Um, you know, like I was saying a little earlier, I mean, obviously. What's important is what we're doing between the whistles, um, and so um, you know we'll evaluate all those things as as we go along. Not not just with him, but with all our guys. Uh, you kind of get a little bit of that the first day you put the pads on, because then we begin to start playing real football. And so I think you saw a little bit of that today. Da Eric McCoy has been in the program for a few years. What are some of the things about him that that have stood out and made him the player that he is? Yeah, he's athletic. Um, he's smart. I think more so than anything, it's just kind of the consistency. You know, you know exactly what you're getting with that player every time he, he goes out on the field. So, um, which is a which is a really really good thing. Um, anytime we know, you know what we're getting, um, you know we feel like we can work with that. So, um, 
I like, look, Eric's been a good player for us and, and uh, excited about where he's at. Dennis, I, I almost hate asking because I don't know the circumstances, but is there a certain point where you feel like you need to have Tyron here with continuity or as a veteran, he can pick it up? Maybe well, look, look, I think there's a point where that, that uh, uh, is the case. I don't think we're there. Um, uh, and so, uh, again, we're, we're really kind of allowing him, you know, the, the space to, to handle what he needs to handle, and uh, we'll be sitting here with open arms when he's ready to come back. Well, I think he's had some pretty good days. Um, so, I, you know, just coming off the practice field, it'd be hard for me to say that this is, you know, his best day at camp. Um, but he's he's. Uh, He's really stepped his game up, I think, uh, to this point in, in, in camp. So, um, yeah, he had a good day. Yeah, with kind of bridging off that, you know, with Pat's coming on today, I think the physicality of the corner really stood out. You know, how important is that to this group, and how do you kind of go about possibly that? Well, it's extremely important. Um, that's part of our, you know, process that we go through in terms of evaluating guys coming out of college. Um, you know, um, we play a, a, a physical at the line of scrimmage game uh, with our corners. And so that's why, you, you know, you see the corners that we bring into, into the program here generally, you know, have some size, have some length, um, you know, and, and have a, a kind of a, a tough mentality about them. We got to see Pete Werner back on the field today. What stood out to you about him sort of throughout this process thus far, going back to his rookie year with an expanded role in the way? Yeah, well, look, I mean, we, we, we got him, you know, activated today. He did a little bit of individual, I think, today and some walkthrough. Um, you know, we'll, we'll evaluate him as the process goes on. Uh, but, uh, you know, where he's come from in terms of a rookie to uh, what he was able to do in the spring, you know, he's made some progress. But um, it was good to get him out there and, and get going. He's got a lot of work to do, and, and so, uh, We'll kind of evaluate him as he gets a little further into into the process. Good. Dennis, how are you going to work that out? With uh, is it you have in your mind X amount of days you're going to be outside or inside? So if you're not dealing with the fans, I mean, do you look at it. Yeah, like yeah. As long as there's no lightning or heat index, we're going to be outside. Kind of there's going to be a, there's going to be a good bit of that. I think we'll evaluate it as we as we uh, as we go along. Um, you know, um, I think there's something to being out in those elements, uh, but. I'll get you in the air conditioning at some point, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. You like it outside, though, don't you? I mean, you, like, you feel like it has enough value to do as much as you can outside. I do. I, again, it's all about what's best for our football team, you know. And, uh, look, we're still early in camp. So there's there's part of that where you have to, you know, you have to push through the elements a little bit because uh, there's going to be times in the regular season, you know, that we're going to be tested mentally um, and we're going to have to, you know, push through some adversity. And so – the only way you learn how to do it is you have to go through it. And so that's part of the process. And that's part of your evaluation. Who does what, especially maybe at the end of practice, right? Yeah, it's all it's all part of the process. It's all part of the evaluation process. And so, um, you know, and look, I thought today was kind of nice out there. So it was an hour and 45 minutes. We spent the first 30 minutes inside. So, um, uh, but we'll be out outside again tomorrow if the weather holds up. Coach Andrew Dowell. Spoke Saturday about the impact he can make on special teams. Can you talk about Coach Rizzi and special teams unit? You know, what you've seen so far? Obviously, Will Lutz going perfect. You know, I, I camp on Saturday. Yeah. Well, I think our special teams is is one of the strengths of our of our football team, um, and I think uh, Riz and Phil do an outstanding job with those guys. Um, you know, we worked some going in punt today. Um, you know, we had a couple that we got downed inside the five. You know, we talked to, uh, the other day in the team meeting about field position. That's part of the game. So all these little bitty things matter. And, and um, you know, special teams is, is an important aspect of, of the game. And, and I think we got, you know, two of the best special teams coaches in the league working with our unit. Is that gunner spot opposite JT Gray a spot that a lot of folks are competing for? We've seen a lot of players get reps and rotation. Yeah. Yeah. What well, look? There's there's a lot of spots that are that are, you know, highly competitive, and and certainly that's one of them. All good. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank